Okay, welcome everybody to the video. I'm going to tell you about a wonderful new magical FPS game that I just found recently. It's called Splitgate Arena Warfare. I think it is on um, Season 3, so it is a relatively new game. And let me tell you, it is super fun. I don't play a lot of FPS games, um, especially not like arena shooters, whatever that means. Um, I, the only FP FPS games I've played... I played a little bit of Halo 5, a little bit of Rainbow Six. I played a lot of Paladins, if that counts, like an Overwatch clone. Um, and that's about it. Um, I, I guess I played... No, no, no. Yeah, that's about it. And this game is just super fun. Basically, if you don't know, it's kind of like if Portal and Halo had a baby, back when Halo was actually good. Um, the gimmick is that you can shoot portals at, obviously, like these different services and then pop out, like, whenever you want, and it's so fun. Um, there are a lot of different game modes for it. I, I'm not going to go into them all, um, but they're all quite fun and unique. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into the pawn, the pawns, the pros of this game first. Um, basically, the pros are it is extremely fun, very unique. The maps are colorful and lively. If that's a pro for you, it is super easy to see where the other players are, so it's not going to be like Rainbow Six. Everything's kind of dark and muddy, or like a Call of Duty game, or something like that. Um, Everything is bright, you can clearly see where things are, um, which is definitely a plus in my book. The graphics, actually, they don't look terrible. If you're seeing some gameplay on my screen, I'm actually recording it like, it's not a max graphics, so it'll look better than that. Um, But yeah, it, I mean, the game looks great, the game looks amazing. The, I feel like the gunplay is very good. Um, the time to kill is also quite low if you're into that sort of thing. So you're not going to be sitting around blasting each other for a couple hours, you know. Exaggeration, of course. But, you know, it, if you get a headshot and a body shot with a sniper, you're going to kill them. So, you know, it's pretty fun, pretty easy. Your health also regenerates fast, so it's not going to be like Paladins where you have to get out of combat, wait for your health to start regenerating, and then it takes like ages. You get out of combat for like three seconds or something, not three, I think it's like five seconds or something, your health starts regenerating pretty fast, so you can get in and out of combat quick, which get, makes gameplay always pretty fun and engaging, um, yeah, and obviously the originality of the game is, def is a definite pro, so let's move on to some of, I, I mean, they're definitely cons, okay, some of the drawbacks to this game, obviously, if I haven't found a free game on Steam, then it's going to be pretty tiny. Um, the game doesn't have a massive player base, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so I think in some lobbies, especially if you're newer, they will fill it with bots. Not totally, but you will get a few bots in there. The thing that counteracts this is if you're in a party, you can keep queuing up together. So eventually you're going to weed out the bots, right? Um, so that's a definite con. If you're... If you want thousands, or like not thousands, if you want like millions of people to play this game, it's not going to happen, okay? Um, so it is small, and it's I think it's made by some indie company, I'm not entirely sure. Um, that's definitely a con. The second con is, well, some of the pros that I mentioned. The maps are very vibrant, and you can clearly see what you're doing. It's also, I mean, there are definitely potentials for you to be incredibly good at the game. Um, I'm, I'm not incredibly good at the game if you haven't been watching the gameplay um but basically it's there i mean i don't know how to word this i feel like there's definitely a pretty like low-ish skill ceiling obviously with the portals adds a whole new element that you have to master and learn at first but eventually you're gonna kind of get used to it and there's not a lot of it's not after you get past the portal for the portal fart portal part and the fact that you have like some jetpack fuel right that's it that's it to the game it has a few modes and it has those unique parts so if you get bored super easily or if you're not into sweating and grinding a game then you're not really going to enjoy it the novelty is going to wear wear off kind of quickly um but if you're someone like me who's i'm not a sweaty try hard and i still think the game is fun just because i can casually pop in for like 30 minutes, uh, get off a couple games, and then leave. And it's just just like that. Unlike Apex, which I feel like takes forever. You have to have extreme coordination with your team. It, yeah. Yeah, so 
I say those are the cons. I can't think of many other definite cons. Um, basically, player base and, I mean, oh, what was that? Yeah, I mean, just player base is super tiny. And if you're like, if you're not, if you really want to get invested in this game, it's almost not worth it because of the small amount of people. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out the game. It is super fun. And I will see you all later. Adios.